harsh accusations being made against a nonprofit that has helped hundreds in Southern Colorado. A report released this week accuses the Wounded Warrior Project of misusing donations. The report shows the organization spent thousands of dollars on lavish events. KRDO News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi is live where one of those events took place. And new tonight, she's been looking into those allegations. James and Heather, that report reveals that the Wounded Warrior Project had a costly meeting here at the Broadmoor last year involving 500 employees, but the nonprofit says they're spending their finances accordingly. The nonprofit known to raise money for injured veterans is under fire for not giving enough back. Nonprofits will succeed or fail based on the interests of the donors. And I think the open records and transparency for any nonprofit is something that is needed. Wounded Warriors is accused of receiving $3 million in donations last year, but only giving 60% back to veterans. Wounded Warriors Project sent us this statement saying those claims are false and they've donated back 80%. But for those who have donated, they say it's still a concern. I would hate to think that this is true. They do so much for families. Um, they help bring them together with other wounded warriors. Jessica Stanwood's daughter, Anna, voluntarily donated her profit from Girl Scout cookie sales last year to the group. Wanted to help, help them because um, my, I, my dad used to be in the Army. She sold more than 500 boxes. They were just very thankful to her and um, said how much it was going to help them. The nonprofit assures they're spending donations accordingly, but some say it should still be examined. The responsibility of the board to take a look at the actions of staff. This is true. Um, I would still donate because I, will, I hope they would use the core values and really improve. And we have that full statement from the Wounded Warriors Project on our website, KRDO.com. Just click on Top News. Reporting live, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Angelica, thank you.